So thank you, Tsuchi-san. And my name is Kazunari Yoshimura. Uh, came from uh, Tokyo, Japan on Monday. So that and the uh, steel and the jet lag. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you so much and uh, all of you and uh, very interested in uh, water related issues. And uh, I was working for in uh, so water business uh, more than and, uh, 40 years. And now and uh, expanding and the global water business, uh, how to promote and the Japanese and the companies uh, to the, and the global and the businesses. But it's very hard. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, can we start? Could you end more dark? Oh, it's a very good end uh, sleeping time for you. <laughs> 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 so, maybe and, uh, uh, you are in the patient in my Japanese English. So, because uh, I was uh, so working for the United Nations in the 1997 and, uh, and uh, spent uh, five, five years. And uh, after 9-11, so 2001, and uh, back to Tokyo. So that's in the 10 years more in the past. My English capability totally in the last year on the destroy. So that's in the please patient in the my English. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the, so I'd like to consider uh, together with you today uh, the water issues on the world water resource and the global water business and also a uh, business strategy of the countries. And the last one is uh, I would like to introduce Japan activity to the global water businesses. So, and uh, you can see it's a blue planet and uh, seen from in the satellite. Almost in the 70% and the surface of the earth is covered with water. That seems like in the many people and the believe the earth is made of water. But this is a seawater, and uh, which uh, can be drink. And uh, how much in the water and the air on the earth? So we only have very and uh, tiny uh, water drops. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's a very tiny and the water drops, and also the very uh, small amount of the air. It's a pink balloon. So uh, seven billion of us in the sharing of this and the uh, small and drops and the uh, pink balloon. So that's a problem. So furthermore, in more detail for the water resources, uh, as you might know, and the uh, sea water is uh, 97.5 percent, and the fresh water is only 2.5 percent. Uh, however, the fresh water almost fixed glaciers and iceberg and deep underground sources. So only 0.01% uh, in the fresh water is available for human life. So it's a very and a critical in the numbers. So this is uh, the water relationship and the population growth and the water demand. And the uh, United Nations said World population increased 3.7 times during the 19th to 20th century. However, and the world water intake increased 6.7 times at the same time, almost twice. And also, what the relationship in the GDP and the water demand? So, and uh, you can see for well, GDP and the uh, uh, increasing the rapidly and also the water intake. Uh, due to the uh, so many world industrialized urbanization and the change of lifestyle. So many people take a bus and also the flush toilet. So many Japanese and the likes and the take a bus every day. So that's <laughs> but a Tibetan and the once a year. <laughs> and also the uh, our life and become rich. So that and many of people and comes to eat the meat from vegetables. So that's in the meat production and the need and the huge amount of water. So that's in the Anthony Aran and uh, London University. They and propose the uh, virtual water like this. Oh, this is uh, so global water situations. The UN said a third of the world population live in uh, water stressed and the countries by 2025. So what is the water stress? 
uh, water stress is uh, that mean uh, 1700 and the cubic meter per person per year. That's a water stress. Also, the yeah, if and we are continue such a kind of the demand, it is expected to rise to and to third in the globally. So here you can see in the drought prediction in the world, and so the many country and facing in the drought. So recent, yeah, recently in the IPCC in the intergovernmental and the panel on climate change, and the predict and the temperature would be rise by. 0.5 to 8.6 degree Fahrenheit, and also project the sea level and the rising up 10.4 and 32 and the inches by the end of this and the centuries. It's due to uh, mainly uh, global warming, uh, many people said. So many of the countries and the face of drought and the flooding, not only developing countries, but also advanced countries. So maybe you, you are familiar, uh, this is a U.S. drought monitor. The U.S. government accountability office and the predict at least in the 36 in the states and would be faced in the water shortage uh, over the next decade. Uh, not only U.S., uh, this is uh, Australia, is a struggle with and the drought and the flooding. Northern part of the uh, uh, such as a Darwin, is a pr plenty of the rainfall, almost uh, uh, the 17, uh, 70 in the inches. However, the southern part of Adelaide was only in the one third in the British situations. So you can see in the high end population cities like in the Perth and Adelaide and Melbourne, Canberra, Sydney, even if it was Brisbane. They are always in the facing in the water shortages. So nowadays in, the, in Australia, the desalination and the business is uh, rapidly expanding. For the Hanabat and the global water demand, and the currently the Asian countries and the occupied and the 55, 55 and the global water demand. And it estimated and the water demand will be increased uh, 60 and 70 by 20, uh, 20, uh, 2025 uh, due to and the population and the economic growth. Also improvement in the lifestyle, flush toilet again. And uh, water is essential for life and uh, how to get in the water resources is uh, national and the security issues as well. Oh, I would like to introduce the water-related conflict and water aid. So you can see and depend on the imported and the surface water from and the other countries, Egypt and the Hungary and the Mauritania and the Botswana and Bulgaria. Uh, so, so that's and their country and the imported from over and the ninety percent from other and the countries. And the other report said and only 21 nations of the countries and which has own water resources in own countries. Other 170 countries rely on and the water resources uh, of the neighbor countries or boundary and the countries. It's a really in the national securities. Well, the, this is uh, one of the conflict in the international river. So you can find in the Jordan, Nile, uh, Tigris Euphrates, uh, Euphrates Tigris, and the Senegal, Danube, and the Rhine, and the Mekong, Aral Sea. So many conflicts and arising. So the, how many in the international and the river? And the roughly there are and the 270 in the international river basin you know, currently. And always when the fighting against and the water withdrawal right in every country. It's so especially in the Mekong River, that's uh, incredible because the origin of the Mekong is located in mainland China. And it flows down to Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, and Thailand. So the argument of water has always arisen. There are what and kind of the dispute. China made the 
14 uh, dams for the purpose of the hydrography and the power generation, also intake for agriculture. The water level of the Mekong River fell down by and five meters. So Mekong River Committee always uh, the claimed to China stop the dam construction. But the Chinese government has totally ignored their voice. The fall of the water level in the river is not caused by Chinese water dams. It goes only in the global warming, not me. And the steel and the big argument are to be continued. And also, what is the world water and the usage? So you can see the agriculture is mostly about 70% and the, for the irrigated agriculture. Uh, the municipality about 10%, industry uh, 20%. But uh, the municipality, the gross rate is uh, very high, more than 58% uh, by and, uh, 2025, uh, due to and uh, rapidly and uh, urbanizations. Oh, the, here you can see in the global aid to water and the sanitation in the top five countries it's uh, for primary Japan and the US and Germany. Always in the developing countries, and they need more aid. However, in the government of each country always facing with in the financial difficulty as well, even if US now in the shut down in the many governments. <laughs> okay, the other in the aspect there is a number of the deaths by water-related and the disasters. So you can see in the 70 and the 80 percent in the concerned on Asian Pacific region. So average for five years. So we have and the many of natural disaster like in the flooding and the tsunami and the typhoon and so on. So government of Japan and aggressively and contribute to the Asian countries for the technical assistance and the dispatch and more than 3,000 experts to the 156 countries. Also, they are setting up and end on about 20 billion US dollars, mainly from the Asia Pacific and the regions. Okay, next I'd like to introduce the global water and the businesses, how much volume and how we are expanding. Well, traditionally, in the market size on a global basis, and the, according to the Financial Times, said uh, six percent in the annual growth rate, and uh, one trillion US dollar, the coming in the twenty and the twenty-five, it's a very big number. And also, the based on the green growth strategy of OECD, and said. So infrastructure and the investment. So uh, you can see and the water is more than half in the investment. So during the 20, uh, 2010 to 2030, during the 20 years. So and the big number occupied and by water infrastructures. So also in the OECD said the regional and the investment. So you can see and the big number is Asian Oceania in the Latin America and also the EU and the, uh, North America and the Middle East and Africa. For the Middle East is a little bit and a small number, but a very high uh, rapid increasing in the desalination or also in the water and the reusing. So the, what is the regional growth in the first one, the developing in the, uh, developed in the countries like in the US and the Japan so both of the country and always and facing and huge amount of the budget is necessary, and the, uh, uh, but uh, <coughs> always and struggle with and the government and the taxpayers. Uh, the other hand, the developing countries always and facing and the lack of the financial resources and the lack of the capacity building. So many people said and the privatization is necessary. Uh, however, it's a very and hard uh, the privatizations. So currently and who is enjoying in the global water business? Uh, 
uh, two French companies, like and Veolia and the Suez and the Gas de France. So both of the country, and the French country, and enjoy uh, more than and 12 and 13 and the billion euro. That's a global and the uh, market. Also in the following up and Thames Water and in, in the UK. For the uh, next one is uh, global water strategy of the three countries and the French and the Singapore and Germany. So why and the French company is so strong for the water business? They have a long history and uh, so plenty of the know-how for the water privatization more than in the 160 years. They have a uh, uh, whole long history. And also the, uh, the pushing up and the political power by president as uh, Chirac and uh, Sarkozy. Also the government and the French uh, always uh, coordinate in the World Water Forum. It's an international networking in the water training in the centers. So I was in the participate in the last and the sixth World Water Forum in the March and the 12th and I held in uh, <coughs> Marseille and the French. So that's in the main theme is the time for solutions. If that, uh, uh, we are the quickly in the action is need so because it uh, totally and destroy on the earth. Yeah, Singapore is uh, so relatively the new comers. And uh, because uh, Singapore and used to the half of the water imported from the Malaysia. So since it was in the serious and the national security, when the water can, uh, could be and stopped by Malaysia, it's a national security. So that and the uh, Singapore and the government decide to begin to improve in their and the water resources, such as uh, water uh, rainwater harvesting and also desalination from the sea and the uh, sewage. And finally, in the company, the last one, uh, established in the PUB and the public utility board and established in uh, 2004 and the totally and the coordinate in the water businesses. And the finally, in the Singapore water companies, Hyflux and KPO and the SEMCOP. It's uh, so global in the water companies, especially they are focused on the Asian Pacific and the African countries. So Singapore has a very good in the water hub and the networking. Uh, this in the water hub networking among in the 140 and the companies all around the world. It's a very good in the alliance with overseas companies. So you can see in the consultancy and also system integrators and the testing and the equipment and the utility. So the membrane and the suppliers uh, because uh, Singapore and the focus on the desalination or and also in the water reuse and the by and the membrane technologies. So it was the last in the SIWW and the Singapore and the International Water Weeks. I participate and the uh, I have their chairman and the Japan Water Business and the seminar. And the next is uh, so government of Japan. Uh, no, 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 government in Germany. The, so German Water Partnership. And the, uh, more than and, uh, 240 and the companies and the participate in the uh, German Water Partnership. And uh, they are also enhanced in the EU and the direct and the ISO, uh, the technical standard. Uh, because uh, the global and the standard is necessary for the many of rely on the ISO. So that and also very and the severe regulation in the EU. Uh, so uh, government of Japan and the coordinate and the such kind of the global and the regulations. So I'd like to the uh, next and introduce the emerging and the water market. First one is uh, desalination and the next and the water treatment on uh, shale gas and the oil. Oh, you're very familiar, John F. Kennedy. He is a great and a politician. So he is the first president who declared the desalination the initiative uh, for the John F. Kennedy and called the salt water and the conversion project more important than putting a man in space. 
So that's in the Hanover the desalination in the today in the nearly in the 15,000 in the desalination plant today and provide in the some 300 million people with in the desalinated water. However, in the still less than the 2% of the total in the global water consumptions. We are currently in the very hot market in the Middle East. And uh, next in the new emerging market is China, India, and the Singapore, Chile, and the USA. So why the USA is the southern part of the United States, such as Florida and Texas and California, it's a very severe in the water shortage. Now we're expanding the desalination in the businesses. So here you can see in the top 10 countries by total installated capacity and uh, since in the 1945. For the uh, <coughs> uh, Saudi Arabia and the USA and the UAE, uh, Spain and uh, Kuwait and the China, Japan, Algeria and the Qatar and the Australia. Uh, so many countries now the, uh, expanding the desalinations. So in your future, in the top 10 the desalination in the market, uh, the by the 2016, the first one is the Saudi Arabia, expanding more, and the UAE, and the China, and the USA, and the Israel, and also Algeria, and the Australia. So that's uh, the, yeah, this in the desalination business is now expanding in the rapidly. And it's a very interesting, and 80% of the market share is held by the international and the suppliers, not in the domestic and suppliers. So the first one is the membrane suppliers, such as uh, rivers osmosis and the water filter, uh, uh, the microfiltration and the ultrafiltration, uh, supplied by the Dow Chemical US and the Norit and the Holland, Hyflux and the Singapore, Tore and the Hydronautics, that's uh, Nito Denko and from Japan, Asahikase also Japan, and the Siemens Germany, and the ZE, and uh, Akring and the, from China. Well, that's in the traditional the, uh, uh, thermal distillation, and the MSF and the MED, and also designing a compound, and supplied by the Veolia, and the Sidim in the France, the Gramon also French. And the Dusan has a big power, and from Korea, and Akishiona and the Spain, Mitsubishi and the Sasakura, both of the company and from Japan. And the CMIC and the jury and from China. So last one is the ERI. Uh, it's a very excellent company uh, because in the ERI, Energy Recovery Incorporated. It's uh, for the very good and uh, high and the energy recovery system from the RO and the systems. So the market price is very high based on California. And also you can see in the engineering and consulting firm, uh, the Veolia and the ZE, the Siemens, IDE in Israel, and Hyflux and uh, Befesa in Spain. Also the big and the consulting company, CH2 Hill and Black and Beach also. So this is a schematic in the reverse osmosis and the membrane systems. So intake in the seawater and must be in the pre-treatment is necessary. Because uh, the seawater has uh, so many uh, the complex and the compounds and also the biofiling and the substances and also in the corrosion and the materials. So the pre-treatment is a very and important issue. And then we end uh, put in uh, reverse osmosis and the membrane system. So you can see in the membrane is a very uh, precise in the structures. So Japan and the Tore and the Nito Denko, it's a very fine and uh, uh, module and the RO systems. And then in the post treatment and the storage and the fresh water tank. So why the reverse osmosis system and so widespread and the quick and the cheap cost, the wide range of flow rate. And uh, relatively, energy and the consumption is low compared with uh, uh, summer distillations. And also high water and the recovery rate. And the DSS and the daily and the start, uh, start up and the shutdown is uh, very easy. For the uh, next and the emerging market in the shale gas and the oil, I would like to introduce in the gas market 
and the shale gas extraction and the shale and the fracking fluid. Also in the water treatment. Uh, lastly, the environmental impact. So you can see uh, this is uh, shale gas and oil. So left hand side, top 10 countries, the first ranking in the China, Argentina, Algeria, the US, Canada, Mexico, Australia, South America, Russia, Brazil. And the right hand side, you can see in the top 10, in the first rank in the Russia, US in the China, Argentina in the Libya, Australia, Venezuela, Mexico, Pakistan, Canada. So, and uh, widely and spread it at the gas and oil. So this is uh, geographically and the diversity and you can see and the uh, red portion is a shale gas and the yellow is a tight gas and blue is a coal bed methane. So you can find uh, the world so globally and spread it uh, the uh, gas and the market. So this is uh, so state of art and hydraulic and fracturing process. You can see and the many of the equipment and the mobilized for the control center and the pump and the chemical the dosage and the equipment and the big high pressure pump. Also the chemical and the storages. So here you can see and the huge amount of the piping and the valve and the pumping and the systems. More than and the 20,000 and the PSY, uh, the uh, pushing uh, pipe, and the deep, the inside and underground. So problem is uh, the shale and the fracking and the fluid. Uh, that's uh, so many and the toxic and the hazardous compound. So the typically in the fracking and fluid, and the consist of the water is 90%, and the sand and the 9%. The other 1% and the mainly the additives. But uh, so many kind of uh, additives and the surfactants and the friction and the reducer, KCL and the gel, uh, gel agent and also scale inhibitor and the cross linker and the breaker, uh, so many uh, the iron control and the corrosion inhibitor and the HCL and the uh, mostly in the acid. But uh, this in the uh, fracking and the fluid, it's a uh, depend on the shale gas and the oil inside. Very different in the compo composite and the chemicals. So many of the kind of the chemicals and the dosing and ratio uh, is a top confidentiality, uh, top and confidentiality for the service companies. So this is the uh, environmental and the impact for the in near future for the many and the water related the leakage to the drinking water sources and the aquifers. For the, so many of the states and now the CBI and the regulation, even if in the New York and the, the Pennsylvania now plan to and the highly regulated for the, the fracking and the processes. So here you can see in the shale gas and the water treatment vendors uh, to want to resource the uh, Altera and Aquatec and Akazo and the big company and the ZE and the Siemens and the Beoria now very enjoy this and the shale gas and the businesses. So after fracking and uh, you can see most in the waste water through the underground injections. Many in the waste water and the stay along and the deep and the inside and uh, form a well. So that's and the uh, it causes and the may uh, the potential of the uh, water related the contaminations. So this is the accident map, so called the flashident. Uh, it's a very nice and the naming, the flashident map. <laughs> it's uh, you can see and the nationwide and so widespread and the contaminated in the water. So one of the big concern is the crisis of the Ogarara aquifer by in the contaminated water. You can see in the Marcellus and the Highness Bill and the Barnets and the Fiat Bill and the Woodford. So uh, this is the uh, Agarara aquifer. So Agarara aquifer is surrounded by the 
many uh, shale gas in the production well. So that's in the cause and the many uh, the water contaminant in the future. So I would like to do some in the purpose in the water related sh uh, the shale gas and the flame in the US and the Japan. Now the uh, topics are the how to and the process flow and the minimization and the water treatment and also recycling and the reuse for the and the used and the water. Also the need and the disposable liquid and the solid and the hazardous chemicals and the cost optimization and the modeling and the cost, the vulnerability and the sensitivity and the analysis. So that's in the in near future and the collaboration with and the US and the companies in Japan. Because Japan has a very good and the fundamental and the technology uh, such as the membrane and the uh, distillation and the crystallization and the dehydrations. But only for the fundamental technology in the, uh, from in the Japan. And the need and the uh, totally and the water management is necessary. So that and the would be in the collaboration with and the US and the Japan in the future. Oh, the, uh, finally, I would like to introduce and the water infrastructure in Japan. The first one is the drink water supply. So population in Japan now is uh, 24 million people. And the water population served in the 97.6 in the percent. And the topics is the water leakage ratio and the nationwide the average and only in the seven percent. Mostly company, uh, mostly in the countries, Asian country in the 20 and the 50 percent in the leakage. So even if the city, uh, the metropolitan Tokyo and the less than in the three percent, this is a very in the miracle number, the smallest in the leakage and the number of the world. And also we are proud in the high quality uh, the water and the quality and the operation and the maintenance. The other one is the sewage treatment and the population served in 86%. And the, uh, the topics and the recycled sludge is uh, more than and the 70%. So mainly and the sewage and the sludge and the convert to and the medicine and the fermentation and the uh, generated and the electricity and the other and the gas engines. Also, the uh, making the construction materials such as the cement and the bricks and the tiles. Also, we have a very good and recycled technologies, uh, the mentioned before, and the uh, membrane technology and the ozone and the activated carbon absorptions as well. So, I would like to introduce some examples in the Japan activities for the global water and the businesses. So, first one, the city of Yokohama and the, uh, the other one, the big consortium, uh, so-called the Gura, and the uh, three and the private and the companies. So this is a challenge of the Yokohama Water Works. Maybe you are visiting in the Yokohama, and so it's a very traditional in the city. So Yokohama established as the first modern in the Water Works, uh, 1887. Uh, they have a long history, more than 127 years. Also, international contribution over nearly and 40 years. Also, overseas in the trainee program and over uh, 2,400 trainee from more than 110 countries. It's a big number. Also, the engineering and the personnel and the dispatch as well. Oh, this is one of the technical assistance for the uh, central and the uh, region of Vietnam and the city of Fifth, and, uh, but supported by the uh, Japanese government grant, JICA, Japan and the International Cooperation Agency grant and to the Yokohama, and also the expanding and the human resource and development for the water sector, also the capacity building and the urban water supply and the utilities. Uh, this is one of the outcome for the in the Vietnam and the city of Fe and the residents enjoy and the fresh water from the public water fountains in directory. <coughs> also, this is uh, one of the outcome in the Philippines and the African countries enjoy to the uh, so Yokohama and the effort. Yeah, next is the one of the weakest to the uh, water consortium. So the uh, global water recycling and reuse 
system association in Japan. Very long run. So we call it the Gura. So Gura and the consists of the 42 and the companies. So many and the kind of the companies that participate in the consulting and the factory uh, builders and the membrane manufacturers. Also the electric equipment. And even if the trading company, more than and the 42 companies joined in the Gura. Oh, this is one of the investigations for the integrated seawater rivers osmosis and sewage reuse and systems, the jointly uh, development. Oh, the, because uh, so desalination and the too much and the energy and the intensity and the systems, they also the relatively low and the sewage and the reuse and the brine and the desalinations. So the Gura now and the targeting and the energy and the operation and the cost and the savings. They already done and more than and the thirty percent in the deduction of operation cost is achieved. Uh, it's a uh, seawater desalination. They are now focusing on the total system and the more than and the thirty nine to and the forty percent the energy and the savings. Oh dear, uh, this is uh, one of the, uh, the private company I was uh, working for Evara and more than and 30 years. Uh, this is established in the 1912, uh, the roughly in the 100 years in the histories. So Evara is in the product and the mainly uh, so large scale in the pump. Evara is uh, one of the largest and the pump manufacturer in the Asia. So many and the kind of the pump and uh, so distribute to the world. And also the compressor and the turbine uh, conjunction with uh, the US companies, Elliot and the companies. Also now they're expanding the, for the environmental and the engineering, such as the waste and the incineration in the facilities. Also the semiconductor industry and the Ebara enjoy to the, this, uh, the supply and the dry vacuum pump for the semiconductor, no oily and the pump, and also gas and the treatment. Uh, this is the topics in the CMP and the chemical and the mechanical and the polishing system. For the uh, uh, this is a polisher and on, on the silicon wafer uh, on the, the nano level. That's a great and improvement in the production ratio. Also, Ebara and overseas activities such as Italy and China. Uh, U.S. and the uh, so Dubai and the India and the Brazil. So this is uh, so in U.S. Ebara Group and the companies. First one is Ebara International Corporation. Uh, they are dealing with uh, cryogenic pump, extremely low temperature pump for the LNG, uh, the transportation, and also standard pump. Next one is Elliot Company and the based on the Pennsylvania, uh, the Pittsburgh. Uh, the, they are the compressor on the turbine for the shale gas, the mainly and the LNG. All of you know about in the LNG, the business expanding and the luxury in the future. Also, last one is Ibarra Technology Incorporated. Uh, this is uh, for the semiconductor industry. So the IBM and the uh, Motorola and the micro device also. So this is a single company. Uh, this is the company in the swing. Uh, so it's a uh, Kanji character, so you can see. It's a one-third investment in the from and the Mitsubishi Corporation, one of the biggest in the trading company in Japan. And also the joint to the JGC. They are very good in the so security uh, petroleum and the refinery and the system of the uh, Middle East. And the last one is the Ebara Corporation. One-third in, in, uh, so investment and created Ever uh, engineering service and them in the currently in the swing in the companies. One of the biggest in the water service companies in Japan. So the uh, mainly the Ebara and the uh, installed the, the so many uh, the countries, Asian countries, African and uh, some of the European countries also in the Latin America, uh, very uh, little in the, uh, North America. Oh, this is a typical and the track record in Asia. Uh, the, uh, you can see in the Kazakhstan, China, and the Singapore, and the Malaysia, and the Vietnam, and the Sri Lanka, and the Vietnam again. 
And the last one is uh, relatively and the small, uh, medium size in the company is in the Nagaoka and the international based on the Osaka. So that's in the there and the dealing with in the water intake and the screen, very unique and the screen uh, is a high performance and also the water treatment and the chemiless. Chemiless that means uh, no chemical usage in the water treatment. Also the seawater intake, they are now in the aggressively uh, the development high speed and uh, seabed infiltration systems because in the rivers of osmosis always in the facing to and the clogging and the flogging program by and the bio -firing. so this uh, the the sand filtration is very effective for the pretreatment also nagaoka screen the international for the energy uh, the, uh, the refineries so they are contributing the world and so many and widely uh, the equipment and supply. So finally, in the safe water in the world, in the US and the Japan, and the shit and the development jointly about in the water related and the research and the development in the near future. For the I would like to propose and some agenda for the water issues for the uh, uh, Asian Pacific region by in the US and Japan. So first one is the water for capacity building and the financial uh, financing and development and the water related disaster management. Especially in the water related disaster management is very uh, important because uh, we have uh, so many the natural disasters. So in the US and the SCADA and also the, uh, the very good and the satellite and the control and the systems. The last one is the water for the development and the ecosystems. What is the action plan? And I would like to recommend and create a platform of the scientific information to support and the decision and the makers. And also create a platform that set level sectors, municipality, industry, and agriculture, and the monitoring system, regional and national level. And also creating the platform and the human networking to accelerate in the imp implementation of the water management and the programs. So thank you very much. And I would like to say again, and no safe water and no future. Uh, thank you for attention. Thank you for your patience.